Hello everybody, this is Ben for the Blue Monday podcast. I have just witnessed Ipswich nil, Norwich won. First things first, I hate watching these local derby games. It's not that my heart rate goes up and down, it's just consistently high. It's not good for your health at all. I don't know what it's like if you're an Norwich fan. If you're all relaxed, I know you're not, but... Yeah, just a horrible experience. Glad we don't have to do it for another six months. So anyway, three changes from Mick. So the team was Bart in goal. Spence came back at right back. More from him later. Uh, Webster, left centre back. Chambers, right centre back. Knudsen, the canary killer, left back. Uh, Skews, Nadie, Amy, deep midfielders then. Waghorn off to the right. Nidham there in the middle. And McGoldrick to the left uh, with Garner up front so we thought it was a 4-2-3-1 but it was more of a kind of a sort of tight midfield um very uh, congested in the middle so what we know from mixed team he presumably bought spence in for i offer for some extra brains and some extra experience it's safe to say it didn't work um Nidham over Ward was a big call, and I think that did work. Nidham was very good. Adiemi back in for his power, and great to see Garner back. Uh, Norwich, as we kind of expected, took Vrantrich out. Oliveira didn't start after his comments. Um, so it was Vilchert, Madison, and Houlihan behind Jerome with Tribal and Reed, and uh, their kind of normal back four starts off pretty cagey. Uh, Waghorn shoots one. At guns near post. This was the one um, Pinto, I think, overplayed it. Tried to do like a Cruyff turn in the right back position. Knudsen comes in, smashes the shot off the inside of the near post. I was saying to the guys I sit with, if that goes in, you might actually get a 3 4 or a 3 3 or a 3 2 derby, you know. Floodgates open up instead of one of these horrible tense occasions. Hits the inside of the post, could have been the third game run in Knudsen. Scored, but. He didn't. Um, tenth minute corner bounces about, falls to Waghorn on the half volley, kind of swipes at the shot, goes out for a throw. Um, now for the next five or ten minutes, Norwich come into it, especially with Steeperman and Vilchert down the left. Steeperman's in acres of space. Um, crap finish from him. It would have been different probably if it was Wiltshire. Wiltshire now gets a great chance. Good dribbling from him. Chambers in with the block. Um, McGoldrick smashes one over from long range. Madison with a drive not far wide. And Wiltshire with probably Norwich's best chance. He tries to curl it round using the defenders as a screen. But doesn't see it and kind of spills it at the end. I think if someone had been following in chance there. So we're up to 23 minutes. Madison tries a curler and I've written down in my notes Spence struggling a little and this was a kind of a feature. Uh, corner for Ipswich, Garner heads wide and then Spence gets the booking on half an hour and we're kind of, right, okay, so Vilchert's their best player. Spence is our worst player and now now he's booked. By the way, I love Spence. I just don't think he, don't think he had a good game today. Um, McGoldrick with a lovely, glorious crap volley here. Um, You'd think all the players you want it to fall to and he swipes at the volley and actually goes behind him. And then Addy Amy with a kind of poor header. Ipswich didn't have the composure when they got in the good positions and the chances. And when we talk about the Norwich goal in the second half, it, these games are all about composure and being relaxed. And that didn't happen for Ipswich today. Um, free kick in from Waghorn. This is probably the best chance of the game, really. Um, McGoldrick, totally free. Same position as he was against Leeds when he scored up there. And he misses the chance. I think Garner might have been behind him. I need to watch it back. Really should have scored. Um, free header. So, the first half was tight. I went in the back at half-time and it was seven shots each. Um, 50-50 on the possession. Really tight. And... You probably think I'm a broken record, come on here every week and say, oh, it's fairly even, but Ipswich had the better chances. They kind of did. Vilcher got blocked out by Chambers and had the curler for Norwich's best chance. But Knudsen hits the inside of the post and McGoldrick misses that free header. It was really tight. It was really tense. You know, uh, probably nil-nil was fair at half-time. So... We're kind of wondering whether he's going to put Iorfa in, you know, but he backs Spence to come out for the second half. Um, Norwich get this super dangerous free kick, but can't make anything of it. Um, 
Ipswich have a good chance on 53. Spence goes down the right, crosses in well. McGoldrick diving header. It looked like Gunn was kind of sprawling across his goal, but he didn't dive, so it looked fairly close. Um, Jerome on 57 gets in down the inside right position. Pretty weak shot from him. Um, Jerome looks a very different player to sort of five years ago, a lot less kind of energetic. And then on 58 minute, the absolute killer, killer goal, because... As soon as this ball hit the net, Norwich shut up and the game was won, really. Um, the thing about this goal that you're not going to see on the TV coverage is Houlihan does absolutely brilliantly sort of around the halfway line. He's got players up him and he kind of keeps the ball. He doesn't panic, keeps it. And it's not that he plays an actual direct pass to someone. He plays it just into the free area on the left and then all of a sudden you've got Vilchert running with Steeperman outside him and I actually thought Vilchert had messed it up I thought right you go inside let him go outside they kind of come together he lets Steeperman have the ball he rolls it across the box and we were talking about Ipswich's lack of composure well I have to say Madison took a touch really cool sticks it in the corner but couldn't move 1-0. Apparently, James Madison is not just the founding father and wrote the US Constitution with um, Benjamin Franklin and George Washington. Apparently, he's quite good at football as well, and he's now going to be a Norwich hero. So annoying. I did think, I said to my dad, who I watched it with, I did think, Houlihan, he's too far back. He can't influence it from there. You know, we've seen Houlihan play well against us for years, and he did influence it from there. He made the break for the goal. And it just absolutely killed the atmosphere in the ground. And then you have to say Norwich really played played very well for the last 33 minutes. They all dropped back a little bit. They are, they're a very good team at defending a lead. It must be this kind of continental style from the continental um, manager. Um, Zimmerman, who took a knock, comes out after 65. And I thought this was a kind of a good thing because Hanley... Um, doesn't look <laughs> that fit, let's just say. Uh, Addy Amy goes out and Downs goes in. And then it's all starting to kind of fall away, which is losing their shape a little bit and starting to play a bit longer. Chambers gets a yellow for taking Madison out. Downs gets a yellow for taking uh, Tribal out. And then Mick makes his play here on 76. Uh, Garner goes out, presumably not fully fit after being injured. Nidham goes out, and I have to say, I thought Nidham was excellent. He really understood the spirit of the game, and we weren't going to win by outplaying Norwich, but we would, you know, would have had something from kind of getting into them, and he very much did that. Sears and Selina come in, and it's this weird 4-4-2 that we had earlier in the season. So it's McGoldrick and Sears up front, Selina's left, Waghorn's down the right. Um, Houlihan goes out, husband goes in. Notice I'm only talking about Norwich uh, substitutions here because Norwich just shut the bloody game down, basically. Uh, Waghorn has a scuffy shot straight at gun. Skews has a tame shot. Vranchic comes in for Madison. Uh, right into the stoppage time and Waghorn gets a chance. He tries a chip. It's really, really close. It's unlucky it could have gone in. And then 94th minute, this is what we were resorted to. Bart comes up for a corner just to try and cause a little bit of chaos. So, really, really disappointed. Um, really tight for the first half. They came out um, still fairly even up to the goal. And I said this at Sheffield United last week. I'd like to see the timings of the goal because it was a pretty sort of similar pattern. But after Norwich scored, they really shut us down well. Um, I think from an Ipswich point of view, I love Spence. I was saying last week he was unlucky to have been dropped. But he had a poor game against um, Vilcher. It didn't work for him today. Webster and Chambers were fine. Knudsen always seems to play well against Norwich. So unlucky for that shot against the post. I thought in midfield we weren't bad. Um, Skews was fine. Uh, Addy Amy was probably good and powerful and physical. And I thought Nidham was, I would say, our best player. McGoldrick did what he could. Waghorn, all the um, opportunities to cross and shoot seemed to go to him. And it wasn't that he was bad, but we talk about Madison having the composure for the goal. Waghorn didn't quite show the same composure. Nice to have Garner back. And when he goes off, when him or McGoldrick aren't there, we don't look as good up front. If we're going to be Mick McCarthy direct, Garner needs to be there. Else, why are you booting the ball up to McGoldrick and Sears or whoever? Um, it pains me to say, well done to Norwich. The run continues. Um, I would have made Vilcher the uh their best player but 
I think given such a tense, tight game, and it's all about that composure, you have to give it to Madison for keeping his head in the um, in the moment when all around him is kind of going mad and sticking that goal in. So um, thank God we don't have to do that for another six months. Um, it's going to be hard to beat them in their ground. And it looks like, really, we need to wait for them to hopefully not go up. The parachute payments stop. The gap might get a little bit tighter. It's just, just cannot see us beating them. Um, from an Ipswich point of view, it's now a lot of defeats. It's Burton next week. Let's go to Burton, try and try and get the win there, and then a difficult away game at Cardiff. Um, write that one off. Hard game. Well done to Norwich. Let me know if you agree in the comments. Follow me on Twitter at Benjamin Bloom. Please like, subscribe to this channel, etc., etc. Uh, see you later.